Hello students, today I am going to discuss on the topic Mesolithic culture of Europe, particularly with Agilian, Tardenuan, Meglemosian and Kitchen Midden. The Mesolithic culture sandwiches between the Paleolithic and Neolithic cultures. It begins with the onset of Holocene and ends at the various time in various regions. With the advent of food production, subsequent excavations at Master Azil in France and other sites documented the existence of early Holocene hunting and gathering cultures in mid-latitude regions. By the last quarter of the 19th century, several authors had suggested independently the use of the term Mesolithic for these industries. The Mesolithic is the period of last hunter-gatherers in Europe which begins around 10,300 before present. The aim of this culture is characterized by the appearance of agricultural economies, along with other changes such as permanent villages and ceramic vessels. It is a transitional phase from hunting gathering to food producing economy, but it occurs at different times throughout Europe and the dates for the end of this culture differ across the continent. It is a loosely defined chronological or cultural classification applied to the last phase of Paleolithic period. The term Epipaleolithic is used in place of Mesolithic to describe the final late Pleistocene and Holocene assemblages that reflect the continuation of a Paleolithic way of life based on hunting of large herbivores from calibrated 12,000 years ago to the late age 3,000 years ago in Northern Europe. Toolkits are highly variable but often include small tank points, scrapers, and buildings. And a wide range of bone and antler tools, including bob harpoons and some geometric microliths, reflect the development of composite tools. Mesolithic sites are generally abundant in Europe. Some of the countries of Europe where important Mesolithic sites are distributed are Portugal, Ireland, France, England, Belgium, Germany, Sweden, Latvia, Russia, Serbia, Greece, Italy, Denmark and Switzerland. Now let us discuss on the Mesolithic technologies. The most definitive and widespread characteristic of Mesolithic technology is the use of small open geometric microliths. Microliths form the basis for a wide range of composite tools, bar, fee sphere, and sickles. The widespread use of very small projectile points in the Mesolithic suggests that arrow points may have been designed to remain in the animal, possibly to dissolve a poison into its bloodstream rather than to kill the animal on contact. 
the appearance of microliths suggests greater use of the bow in hunting. Mesolithic subsistence was based on hunting of solitary and small herd game, as well as on fishing and fowling. Mesolithic cultures from the temperate forests of Europe, such as Azilian, Tardenuan, Sauveterian, and Montadian. Furnish evidence of settled exploitation of forest resources, including acorns, hazelnuts, wild kettle, boar, fallow deer, red deer, and ibex. Other accessories of fishing recover from the sites in northern Germany and Scandinavians demonstrate the use of various fishing strategies such as nets, traps, wires, harpoons, and lines by Mesolithic people. The gout canoes and pedals indicate the widespread use of boats. It is the EP Paleolithic or early Mesolithic industry of Western Europe. The term was introduced by the French prehistorian E. Pitti in 1899 to describe a phase in the transition from Paleolithic to the Neolithic. He had discovered in the deposit of Mars de Ozil, cave in the Pyrenees region of France, a tool assemblies consisting of flat harpoons made of deer horn and a collection of various size and shape pebbles decorated with color schematic designs. The Azilian industry is a transitional period between the Upper Paleolithic Magdalenian industry and Mesolithic, as it appears at the end of the last glaciation. The Azilian was first excavated in 1874. The Azilian assemblages are identified by their high proportion of back platelets and small end scrapers, low but variable proportion of burines, and the presence of Azilian ponds. The Azilian tradition is characterized by the replacement of rich naturalistic and parietal art with rather limited art of a much simpler geometric style. Single and multiple strokes running across the braid of the engraved Azilian pebbles are the most common motifs. The motifs are usually painted in red or occasionally black, but some are engraved. The Tardinoan stage is the classic Mesolithic or Epipaleolithic sequence of inland France, dated to calibrated 8000 to 6000 or possibly later. It was named after the type site of Ferretain Tardinoa. It is distinguished from earlier industries by the presence of geometric microliths, microburins, scaling triangles, trapezoids, and points with concave bases. The term Tardinoan is applied to an ill-defined group of Mesolithic assemblages, characterized principally by the presence of asymmetrical trapezes and long blades. Assemblages with Tardinoan characteristics 
can be identified across Europe from Siberia to Sweden, excluding Britain, centering on northern France. The one assemblages are generally thought to be post that assemblages defined as Meglemogian and those defined as Sovietarian. However, the relationship with the Sovietarian has been the subject of mass debate. It is also the widespread family of early Mesolithic industries extending from Britain across the North European plain defined in Maglev Moe's Buckland area of New Zealand and Holland. The lithic industry is characterized by the presence of axes, obliquely blunted points and planes. The presence of microliths and axes differentiate the assemblies from those of the upper Paleolithic. The sites of northern Britain with Maglemogian characteristics are culturally distinct from the non-Maglemogian sites. Most of the Maglemogian sites represent summer and the full lake shore settlements and have yielded wooden paddles, net weights, nets, floats, canoes, fish hooks, buff, and notes points, and harpoons, and nutshells. Sarkar is the most famous Mesolithic Meglemogian open air site in Yorkshire of England. It was excavated in 1950 by J.G.D. Clark and dated to calibrate 9.5 thousand years ago by radiocarbon dating. It is a wet site with excellent organic preservation. The excavation and interpretation of the site reflect the economy approach to prehistory. This term is used to describe an archaeological deposit formed largely of refuse from food preparation and to describe large mounds of cells with associated cultural debris found at some coastal sites. Examples of the latter include the Asturian complex in northern Spain and the Artebolic culture in Denmark and Scandinavia. Recent studies of cell methane have tended to stress that although they often form the most impressive physical evidence of a hunting-gathering economy in overall nutritional terms. They may only form a minor or seasonal part of a much more complicated foraging strategy. There are several other regional industries of Mesolithic period in Europe like Chauvetarian, Asturian, Larnian, Campignian, and Kunda culture. The meaning of Mesolithic and the list of industries assigned to this transitional period are far from uniform. The term carries technological, chronological, and socio-economic connotations. Some scholars reserve the designation Mesolithic for Northern and Western Europe, whereas 
some societies adapted to forest based subsistence practicing hunting gathering and fishing and using composite tools succeeded one another before the advent of domesticated stock and agriculture the mesolithic culture is also associated with fundamental as well as technological changes the later mesolithic period of southern scandinavia is characterized by a large series of settlements with well preserved faunal remains in general the mesolithic witness long distance connections between different regions and an increasing local and regional scale of social organization In 1965 KB Planery introduced the concept of the broad spectrum revolution to emphasize the shift in man land relationship that took place in the final late Pleistocene to early Holocene Mesolithic represented a level of more intensive exploitation of natural environment Small scale resources were increasingly important in the diet of those people. Seasonal movement from lowland winter camps to upland hunting settlements is documented for the late Paleolithic and the Mesolithic Greece. The Mesolithic period is traditionally the stage between the late Pleistocene and the early stage of Neolithic period. It begins with the onset of Holocene and ends with the advent of food production and domestication of animals. The term Epipaleolithic is used to describe the final late Pleistocene and Holocene assemblages that reflect the continuation of a paleolithic way of life in northern europe more than 4000 important mesolithic sites are distributed across the european continent particularly in germany switzerland france austria czech republic and poland the most important characteristic feature of mesolithic technology is the use of geometric microliths and its wide range of composite tools there are several regional industries of mesolithic period in europe the mesolithic economy can be defined as hunting gathering and fishing some mesolithic sites evidence the seasonal migration <laughs> 